honestly, it begs belief. Beggars, beggars belief. How do you say they say? But it only comes down to one word, gatekeepers. And maybe it's only because they're fighting me. Well, Terry, tear with the hair, Rodriguez. Um, I was in her chat now. She had a well, earlier. She had a live about the one um, soldier that was reporting on reports that are in the army. Now, believe me, when the army reports, it's only for reasons of propaganda. But they had to report it to the Senate. The Senate is supposed to be all your granddaddies knowing the truth, wanting to get to the bottom of the truth. And of course, the army is not going to tell you all the truth. And basically what the soldier is saying is, if anybody has got any more information, to come forward. But they're not going to give us the information that we must come forward with. You've got to come with your own original stuff. They're not going to blurt out all the data they have. I mean, they know how your group, your people work, journos. Saying there's no aliens on alive and putting a vote to it. And then I voted, yes, I think the guy's telling the truth. That's all the vote is. Is the guy telling the truth or is he lying? And 51% of the chats believed he was lying. So I I didn't I only only can find out when you vote. I voted I didn't believe he was lying. I think he's telling the truth. 47%, 49%. So I commented and then she because there was this other video that she was showing that she made. This is this is her this is her shtick. The women in Iran, Iran have problems and are being mutilated because they don't wear their hoodies and they don't cover their faces, so they mutilate their faces. And this is her brilliant showreel or whatever it is, what you call it, program set. I don't know what. This is what you go to school for, Terry. Why did you watch this video? This is research. Take a look at this. Object in the alleged sighting of strange creatures in the backyard of a Northwest Valley home. So it was last night that 8 News Now investigator David Charns reported about how Metro Police responded back on May 1st after receiving a strange call from a very frightened family. Well, our report generated a global response, and now piecing together the sequence of events has been kind of tricky, in part because the primary witnesses have been almost as elusive as the beings they say they encountered. Chief Investigator George Knapp is as perplexed as the rest of us, George. As you know, this is not our first UFO rodeo. We first heard about the incident in early May via the Metro Police grapevine. The incident has a lot in common with other bizarre cases from around the world. An alleged crash, strange beings, and bits and pieces that don't make sense. But the police took this seriously, and so do we. Just before midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. One family living in a ranch-style home had a much closer view of the object. Two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle in their yard when they caught a glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, then were hit by what they describe as a shock wave. One of the witnesses, a young man named Angel, has stated when the brothers looked into the yard where the object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. What they saw next prompted a frantic call to 911. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're like this one. Nine feet, ten foot, I don't know. They're, they're, like, they're like aliens, so... Big eyes, they have big eyes, like, okay. like I can't explain it. They have big eyes, oh, they're shiny eyes, and, and they're not human, they're 100% they're not human. Eight News Now investigators have spoken with family members multiple times in the past four weeks, but each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or their phone. These are some of the claims they've made in other public forums. Multiple family members backed up the story in an initial police report we obtained. Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. They later heard footsteps on their roof. They saw one of the eight-foot-tall creatures climb behind the controls of a large front loader stored in the yard as if trying to engage it. He got a good look at one of the creatures, he said, a green 
reddish grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths, and when he locked eyes, he was, in essence, frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle of the yard, where the object had crashed, then vanished, a circular impression was left in the soil. Okay, where is this on your property? Metro sources say the police dispatcher initially wondered whether to send a crisis intervention team to help the troubled witness, but then took the incident seriously. Two officers arrived 38 minutes after the call, and by then had heard from other officers. They proceeded cautiously and managed some nervous laughs. I ain't doing with that. <laughs> a few days later, the family says, two Metro sergeants returned to the scene to ask follow-up questions. The family says they also saw men in suits and sunglasses driving in a car with government plates cruising slowly past the house in the following days. Nellis and Creech have denied any interest or involvement with the incident. Metro has indicated they believe the family that something crashed in their yard. But what? Someone else has access to it. So you mentioned, George, in that piece that you know they were frozen because so many people have been critical of, like, why did they get their phone out? Why did they video? Do we know if there's even any video of this incident? Uh, uh, yes and no. So there's a surveillance camera in the backyard. The property owner keeps that because he's like got a lot of expensive equipment there. What we were told is that at the moment this thing comes down and crash, this camera went out and it was out for a couple of minutes. When it came back on, the object was gone, but the circle was there. We've been told by Angel in multiple phone conversations that he shot video uh -huh. of the creatures. We haven't seen it and we don't know anybody else who's seen it yet. So maybe he'll release it at some point. It's getting a lot of attention. Yeah, okay, all over. <laughs> all right, George, thanks right. for that. Now, let's get back to the what the bones of the matter with what's her name miss adam mills or is it adonai or upper deep or is it um a shamanic owl and you're not a witch doctor huh hey, you, you're not a witch you're a christian lassie yes by a lake sick creature you have a whole live about me didn't I tell you about the Barbara Streisand effect? Hmm? Just giving me more subscribers. And now you put it on private so nobody can even defend themselves. Cowardly. Cowardice. Take a look at this. This is when you stand on your two feet and you say, on your hill that you prepare to die on. Nobody in their right mind wants to be completely inundated with pride flags for the month of June, whether you are gay or straight. We are all sick of it. I don't need to see a pride flag to feel welcome in my country or to not feel oppressed. Do you know what this says to me? Not that we're a marginalized community. In fact, it says the opposite, that we are a community that incessantly needs validation in order to feel welcome in society because we're so insecure about ourselves. If this is something that you feel like you need every June, ask yourself why. Because anybody in their right mind, gay or straight, doesn't need this or want it. This is not equality. This is privilege. Excuse me while I drop the mic. What he said. All of what he said. This now, let's end this show with a little bit more evidence of the alien that landed in, in the same state that you're in, Terry, within the last month. With, with, within the last 30 days. But you don't have this up on your live. So much for you being a journo. A digital one at that. And then you blank me out because the chat is only for members. I, well, not members. Subscribers. I am a subscriber. Why don't you get a membership? Learn how YouTube works. Just chill, Lionel. Okay. Maybe I must just chill. Because who knows what's going to come back. Get some more evidence. Take a look at this one. It's almost midnight on May 1st when a Las Vegas Metro Police officer's body cam catches this. Something flashing low in the sky. 911 emergency. Minutes later. There's, a, there's like an eight foot person beside it and another one's inside it and it has big eyes and looking at us. And it's still there. Someone calls 911 reporting two large figures in their backyard. Uh, no, I'm still nervous right now. The eight News Now investigators obtaining another officer's video as he's sent to the Northwest Valley home. I have butterflies, bro. Uh, I believe it's on a shooting star. These people say there's aliens in their backyard. But by now, it's more than an hour <laughs> after that bright light. Officers meeting up with the caller and his family. It was like a, it was like a big, big 
creature. A big creature? Yeah, they love tabletop. I'm not going to BS you guys. One well, of my partners said they saw some fall in the sky, too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did, did you see anything land in your backyard? Or? They see like a big, what they say? They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light? What I saw right now, I don't believe it. Police walk into the backyard to investigate, but Metro blacked out that part of the video because it's considered private property. What's clear? They're taking this call seriously. Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Asking others what they saw. Uh, I would normally discount as nothing, however, um, seen as one of my partners said they saw it too. Only reason I'm actually investigating it further. That investigation turning up no concrete answers as of Wednesday. Whatever or whoever fell into that yard, long gone within minutes. Oh, hey, if, there, if, there's, if there's nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. <laughs> that, I ain't dealing with that. So now, put in the comments what do you think that was in California on the 1st of May? Vegas, Lionel. They also were Vegas. It's unknown. That's what UFO is. It's an unidentified <laughs> flying object. It, an alien is somebody who doesn't have a passport to get into your country. All we know is what we've seen. All we know is what we've been told. And just to assume it's not true because somebody else seems to be lying. Or that your deductions, I don't understand it. Oh, by the way, we had two earthquakes last night. Small, many ones, you know. <laughs> pictures on pictures all skew on the wall. Um, somebody got it on cam here, but there's no movement, but you do hear it. Take a listen to this. Scary. So that's my show today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. If you have, thank you very much. And of course, again, thanks for thumbs up. Thanks for your comments. And remember, sharing is caring. Ciao for now. Tot ziens. Salam dag. Ik is lief voor je. Tot ons weer. Mekaar. Zie. Tot ziens. Now it's all good, guys. Now it's all good.